Welcome. I know this is like my intro thing. I have to move my hands. Welcome to Kilka Whiskey Musings. My name is Brian, and here we are for celebration night or evening, afternoon. You pick. Oh wait, that's me, ha! Huh? But yeah, here we go. I hate I hate when I say that, but yeah, <laughs> I say lots of things I don't like. Uh, okay, here we go. Scotch down under says three fifty. Yeah, that's right. Celebration string at three fifty. Tentatively still, but I might as well just do it. How else is this going to bug me? Mike Franklin, welcome. Whiskey Samurai, welcome. Shock. There's no official thing tonight. Not that I have official things ever, come to think of it. But uh, I ha I'm trying to be a professional. I have, like, notes. and There are, like, three of them, at least. First thing I have to say is... I said to subscribers, I'm unofficially doing the Patreon thing. Officially, unofficially. Take that what you will. It should be linked in the chat thing, I hope. And it's linked down below, as are all the donation things. I guess I should put the banner up, because that's the thing that I should do. Here we go. Co-op. Hello. I have to go back to the chat. <laughs> JJ, welcome. Right? Again, every time I get to a 50 mark, it's like, well, that happened. So far, it's been... It's, I'm glad it's happening. The, one of the main reasons I do like the 50 mark is because if I ever get emphasis on if, if I ever get to 1K, like things start to roll from there, as I understand it. And that's terrifying. Like If I couldn't keep up with like how many subscribers I was getting, could be a bunch every day. Oh, that would feel so weird. I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. And again, 350 subscribers is great. Let's get to 400. Let's get to 500. Let's get to whatever. The numbers. Stuff. YouTube overlords. They want their cut. <laughs> they want their super chats. I give him super chats. And then we get the money. That's all they want. John, welcome. Yes, it is my mother's birthday as well. I am going to toast her, hopefully, when she shows up. She usually does. She might be here already. I have no idea. But first, I'm going to start with a super rare whiskey. Can you guess what whiskey it is? This is the game I'm playing at the moment. I have a rare whiskey I'm going to start with. And if you have any idea of what my weird sense of humor is like, you may be able to guess the bottle. But who knows? I'll wait until people start guessing. It's a little, little bit of fun at the start here. I think I've said everything at the start that I wanted to, other than pour some damn whiskey, which I put for myself there. And I do have four bottles tonight, double the amount of whiskey because celebration. And, you know, I usually have two pours, if I'm lucky, for every stream because two hours. And I do heavy pours, which I don't mean to do. And by heavy, I mean an ounce or two, an ounce and a half. Two ounces is too much. Okay. That's like the only thing I wanted to do. I don't know what to do anymore. I wanted to talk about whiskey and stuff and things. That's how I'm feeling right now. We did get to go out for close, Mike Franklin. I wish it was for Ebreed. That'd be nice. But you're on the right path. I wish I had Ebreed. I can't find it around here. James, welcome. It's not Woodford. I was tempted to get Woodford. I went to the liquor store this morning. This morning. And... I saw a couple things I was tempted to get. One, there's the Maker's Mark FAE-01. They still have it. It's $70. I don't have $70. And for those of you saying, well, wait a minute. Didn't we like give donations to Maker's Mark already for that sample pack? You did. Yeah, hopefully, I'll get it done next week because <laughs> uh, I've been putting out more content. If you haven't noticed, some of you have. Some of you probably haven't. I've been trying to get three videos out a week if possible. I'm not going to guarantee that. My uh, my brain doesn't always let me do things that I want to do. So, uh -huh. yes. As I said, we had lunch, which was lovely. It was nice to go out to a restaurant we haven't been at, you know, for about a year. It is not Maker's FAE01. I could get that in theory, but as I said, I do not have $70 to spend on a bottle right now. That's the cost. It's sitting in a glass case in the nearby liquor store. And I saw it today, 
and I was sorely tempted, but I didn't. And I was also sorely tempted to get a Woodford because something about horses running is happening this weekend. I'm not quite sure. Uh, even saw a bottle of Woodford with horses on it for more money, which I don't understand. Glendronic 15-year revival, too. Ooh. Ooh. You have it? Give it to me. No, don't do that. Sky Moody, welcome. Now, James, we had a guess for Rare Breed. Again, that's wrong. That's the wrong. It's along the right path. My tongue doesn't want to work. But that's not it. I wish it was. I wish I could get my hands on a Rare Breed, but that's one of those whiskeys I like but cannot get my hands on easily. And the cost is usually you know, a fair, a fair amount more than I want to deal with. Usually it's around $50. I was tempted to get the Woodford for the Derby, but I didn't. I got something else, a rare bottle of whiskey, which you have to guess what it is. You get, it's, it's so dumb. It's a dumb joke, but I'm going to like it. I'm definitely going to like it. I wanted to buy the bottle for a while, and I got to today. I, had a, I actually had a gift card, so I used that. So instead of paying $60-ish for what I got, I paid 17 <laughs> So that was nice, and that's the bad thing, is I spent only $17 expecting to pay 60 So then other bottles look very tempting, specifically the FAE01, the Four Roses uh, single barrel. They have like six of them just sitting there. Uh -huh. I wanted it so bad, but I didn't get it. That was $45 for that. Uh -huh. And what else? There's something else I saw there that caught my attention, but I don't remember what. Obtainium, ooh. I've heard the Obtainium is hard to obtain. Ezra 7 and 8 Blantons. You got Blantons? I've heard lots of people like Blantons. Yeah, <laughs> that's the thing. I, I've, I've seen the bottle. It's like, well, it looks different, but I think it's the same stuff. So I wish it wasn't, but it is. It's a bourbon, JJ. It's bourbon. I could give it away very easily, but I'm not going to do that yet. I'll give you a clue if no one can guess. I want to open it, but you know, this is all on you right now. You guys got to, you guys got to get on it and figure it out. Otherwise, I can't drink. So it's all your fault. No, that's not true. Luna, welcome. Thank you. It's a uh, red. I don't red. I don't wear red very often because. I don't like red that much. It doesn't look good on me in my head. Jeff, welcome. Jeff Whiskey. Thank you. I did nothing to earn it. I mean, I had to have done something, but that's the weird thing about YouTube is uh, it's the subscribers that get you to the number. I can't do it. I can't make people hit the subscription button. I can only ask. It is not Elijah Craig A121. I would like to try that someday, I think. I had a lot of different Elijah Craig's. I even have an Elijah Craig regular bottle sitting back there. It's not Russell's Reserve. Oh, I love this. No one can guess, and it's so easy. It's so easy, but no one knows. I can feel the evil villain part of me going, <laughs> I'll never guess. Someone might guess. Again, the only clue is that when they said uh, Rare Breed, that was close. I haven't poured it yet. I'm just it's a mystery bottle. No, not Melicorn. I had Melicorn last. Is it a Buffalo Trace product? I think it is. Don't quote me on that because they have a lot of products and I always forget what they are. I had Melicorn last Friday? Saturday? Sunday? Not Saturday. Sunday. I think. That was sample Sunday. Well a 12 year. Oh, that'd be interesting, but no. The only weller I've ever had that I can remember. I might have had a sample of something else, but I have the Weller, uh, whatever this is, small, smell, smool, special, totally wrong, special reserve. That's special. That's not rare. There's a difference. It's not Wild Turkey 101. That's my that's my go-to constantly if I can't have it. So that's just sitting, I have it, it's sitting in the back, but that's not the bottle.
Well, I didn't spend $70 on it. I spent about half that much on it. I bought two things today. Uh, and that one of them is a special, a special for next week. Is next week the May? Next week is the May. Oh, gosh. Tomorrow is the May. Oh, that feels weird. What happened? How does this happen? Hey, this is technically an end of the month stream. Yeah. It's not only the end of the week, it's the end of the month. That does not happen very often. Another reason to celebrate. Let's do it. No, wait. <laughs> I have to wait until someone guesses. Someone guesses. What I have to do is I have to use the, the all-knowing Google. The Google, as I like to call it. How did you know, John, that next week I would buy a tequila? This is the only time of year I ever buy tequila, and I bought a very special bottle of tequila, something I wanted to try. Never had it, so it's going to be a first taste video. Should be fun. What was I doing? Oh, yeah, finding out if it's an actual uh, Buffalo Trace product. Nope, I'm thinking. <laughs> there we go. I got it all backwards. Oh, yeah. Girl proof? No. Good guess, but no. I'm trying to look it up now. Nope, nope. And I have to be very careful not to say it. Because I could do that by accident. I won't. You know, let's just go to Buffalo Trace. See their website and they'll tell me things. Oh. Buffalo Trace, tell me things. Elmer T. Lee? No, no, no. I should do this every time. It's like, guess what I'm drinking? People would go, people would not stay. <laughs> but it's good interaction. I mean, people are talking. Ancient Age 10? No. I don't think I've had Ancient Age ever. Maybe. I know I've had um Brain no work here right now. What the hell's it called? Not obtainium, the other one. As if that helps. Nope. Nope, my brain doesn't want to work. It's from Nevada. That's all I can tell you. And I got it from Hot Butter Rolls. That's the only thing I remember. Because my brain does not work ever. If I want to remember something, I have to stop thinking about it. Otherwise, it's just it's not going to happen. Oh, hey, Whiskey Samurai got it. Oh. oh. It was so easy. I said, I said it was rare. It says Eagle Rare on it. It says Rare on it. Smoke wagon. That's right. That's what I had from uh, Hot Beer Rolls. I don't know why I can remember that. And I don't want. I don't. Also, don't know why I have that and obtainium in the same area. Perpetuum. Ooh, I haven't had the perpetuum. But yes, here we are. Eagle Rare. This is one I've reviewed before. It's one I like. It's one I do not have very often because it's thirty-five dollars. And I know that was different. If suddenly I cut off, it's because electricity stopped. I think everything just blinked. So I'll try to be back if it actually cuts out. It's very windy here. So there's the possibility of, you know, tree branches hitting a power line or something. So keep that in mind. If everything just goes dark, I'll try to get back on if I can. If not, I will post on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook or all the social media things. If that happens, I don't want it to. Don't do it. Outside world, don't you mess me up. Thank you, Bourbon. I try. It's bits. Believe it or not, it fights me every time I have to mess with it. Oh, man, White Claw. Did he? Did I miss that? It's hard to read when things are scrolling by. Oh, Mike, you got it, too. There we go. Boom. Two people guessed it. I just didn't see it earlier, but that's fine. Again, a couple of other people guessed um, Rare Breed once or twice. And I wish it was Rare Breed, but again, I can't find that easily. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what, what's the, why my uh, humor was going out there is it's Rare Breed for me. Not really. I can get for $35, but other people... Can't find it, and the price is jacked up because secondary market stuff. All right. I know you're all waiting to see this. Is if it, Will it come off easily? Something I do for the videos. And believe it or not, it's never, never on purpose. It's never to make it funny. 
There's always something that goes wrong. Please don't. Just work this time. That'd be great. There we go. Lovely. I would say that too, which I don't mean to do. Ah. All right. This is an uncorking, I guess, technically. Yay. Celebratory drinking. Rawr. Nothing can go wrong. Okay. I did it. Again, trying to do four whiskeys tonight, this evening, afternoon. Whatever. This is the neck pour. Don't worry, I have them lined up right here. Down here on the floor, oddly enough. Uh, rare breed bourbon would be good. I haven't had, I have no wait. I've had a sample of the rye. Someone sent me a sample. But the one I know I like is the bourbon, rare breed. As is the usual. Eh, what? <laughs> Two seventy-five a bottle to ship? To... Nope. I had a similar feeling with uh, recently dealing with what was it? UPS. I shipped something to someone who might be here, and uh, or they hand delivered it. I should say. And I looked at UPS to try and figure out how much it would cost. I had to, it went to the other side of the country, and it was like $80 for shipping. And I said, nope, <laughs> not going to do that. So I had to use the post, and that was like 25 ish Much better pricing. but So I don't know. I don't know why that's a thing. Maybe I'm paying for the company brand. I don't know. Shh, don't tell them. Yeah, everything moved. Oh. Uh-oh. Yes, open your celebration. Celebration? Celebratory? Whiskey. Or don't. You can drink whatever you want, as I like to say. Ooh. It's good to know. Wow. Yeah, that's funny. It's it's a weird world in the whiskey money stuff. I would say this is worth $35 because I like it. But some people real play, really play off the word rare to a very strange point. Yay, JJ is the as well. The rest of these are pretty much just what I've reviewed in the past few few days. Past week? Did I do that? I think I did. <laughs> Whoops. That was not really intentional, I don't think. Maybe it was subconsciously. But mostly I wanted to open the Eagle Rare. And yes, it is a Buffalo Trace product, which I thought I knew, but I have this habit of wanting, you know, I think I know something and I don't want to say it because I don't want to be wrong, even though I know being wrong is just a learning experience thing. I'm fine with being wrong most of the time. But in whiskey, it's like, you're supposed to know these things. Nope. Not my world. Well, what the hell? Yeah, that's that's about the price I will see it at. Uh, unless it's one of those stores that's like, oh, this is rare and hard to find. I'm going to jack up the price by $20. I've been meaning to look it up in uh, the area. I wonder if I could get it from um, Irene. I haven't been to her store in at least a year. But I've heard it's changed. Rare Breed is Wild Turkey. Luna, yes. Thus, the rare, the rare breed, rare breed. What's it called? Rare breed. Anyway, but I guess they mean a rare breed of turkey or something. They're going with that, I think. Ah, this is nice. It hasn't been long since I've had this. I could. Mm, I'm tempted to check which video. It must have been maybe January. I have no idea. Mazepin. Maybe. <coughs> Ugh. Just want to drink the whiskey. That's a tough call, honestly, because I just like higher proof stuff in general. And I can get... here. Here's the thing. A lot of my whiskey choices go from quality, enjoyability, and price. So I can get a bottle of Evan Williams White Label for $15. That's a good price. 
for a high proof, but I don't like it as much as eagle, no, as much as wild turkey, wild words. But a bottle of wild turkey is twenty five dollars. That's ten dollars more. You know, the proof difference isn't he is is the same almost. I think it's one percent or one one proof. One. Proof. Oh. I can't think at all today. So there's that. But I tend to lean towards wild turkey because I like it more. Just I like the taste of it more. I like it on the rocks more. I think if I have Evan Williams on the rocks, it's not there's something weird about it. I don't like. And then with the Eagle Rare, we're talking ten more dollars for a lower proof. It's got, it's a nice bottle and it's rare. It says so on the bottle. <laughs> so there's that. I'm trying to see you now. It's the bar, marzipan. I'm not even sure I know what marzipan tastes like. Smells like. It smells tasty. That's what it smells like. You can watch my official review on my YouTube page later. Stay here for now. But I don't even remember what I said. That's the thing. I just knew I liked it. I think I got a sample of this. I got a sample of Eagle Rare, and then I think I did... I don't know if it was a blind flight. It must have been a blind. It's the only one I've done, I think. But someone sent me a... Okay, I can't remember who. I was sent... I don't want to say someone sent me. I was sent a blind flight, and I th believe Eagle Rare was the top one where I liked that the best out of those four. And that's what made me want to buy it. And I did, and I liked it, and I did a review, I think. I don't think I... Did I not call it first taste? I'd probably call it review. My brain is rolling downhill right now. See, the fact that you can get it on Amazon is a thing. <laughs> I cannot order I cannot order alcohol on Amazon. I wish I could, but it's American laws with liquor. Drew, welcome. Happy Friday indeed. All of you have finished your week. You survived. It's the end of the month as well, so yay. Or or ugh. I mean, I don't know how people feel about the end of the month. For me, it just means I get my uh, disability money in about a little over a week. I think. Depends on the end of the month, actually. If it ends on a Tuesday, then it's only a week until I get the deposit and then I can pay my rent. <laughs> or this one, it's going to be a little over a week and a half. Like a week and four days or something. Fun. The joys of you know not having any actual income. Which is why we have Patreon and PayPal and Venmo and all that madness. Oop. Yeah, I would agree with that. <clears throat> Wild turkey's a little bitey and peppery and rawr, aggressive a bit. I'm going to do a comparison thing at some point. I was tempted to do that tonight, but since it's a celebratory stream and not, not a comparison stream, I suppose, I don't even know if I do those very often. This is similar to last Friday, except there's no guest. It's just drinking alcohol and chit-chatting. <laughs> Which I prefer, I have to say. That's good. Yeah, crap, I have to drink this fast. This is not the first drink I've had today either. I've already started celebrating, and by that I mean at lunchtime, which was thankfully six hours ago. So, it's worn off by now. But if you checked my, what was it, Instagram... I posted a picture of the drink I had. It was pink-ish. And it was called a blood orange martini or something like that. It was good. I enjoyed it. But it was a lot of alcohol. A lot of vodka, technically. It was, it was tasty. Whoa. 58.4. We are going up in proof, for the record. I started with Rare breed because it's the lowest one. We have 45% for rare breed. We're going to go up a notch for the next one. And yes, I did decide to just pull the last, no, all of them? Yeah, I did. The last three videos I did this past week because then I can promote the videos as well. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Plus, I don't know how to talk. No. Well, I'm going to say no. May 1st, as far as I know, in the United States is not really a thing. I know May 5th is, Cinco de Mayo, 
because it's another holiday for people to drink in excess. No socialists. Whoops. No, you don't know a thing. You have to know a little. You know more than most, I'm sure. Yes, don't do that. Glen Scotia Festival 2021. What? I'll be right there. No, I won't. Yeah. See, that's the thing. If I don't guess proofs because I can't tell. Like everything burns a little to me. This did not. I just took a sip of it and it didn't even phase me at all. But usually what I do with, uh, I try to keep the proofs the same for comparison things, or at least similar. I was thinking of doing that as well for like 40% or something like that. But I like to go up. I like to go up the scale, like to have three of them and be three different kind of proofs that differ by you know, five, maybe. So 40%, a 45%, and 50. That's maybe something I'll do just for the lulls. Just cause. Hi, John T. Schwelcome. Schwelcome to the show. Why am I speaking this way? Why not? I think it reminds me of Monty Python for some reason. Oh yeah, May the 4th. That's an American holiday for certain. May the 4th be with you. As I start to... In my head, I started to hear the Star Trek intro, which is not right. It's a... Da, 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 da. I can't think of the actual song. You know it. It's the opening credits. I'm waiting for the wind to do something weird. I made an executive decision today. I was tempted to keep the window open as a smidge. I did not. Because it's actually kind of windy out there. There we go. Took a minute. The gears have to start turning before anything happens. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. Old Forster, nineteen twenty. Wild well, Turkey Rare Breed. Are they? You know, that's another one I haven't seen around here. I have not seen a lot of stuff, honestly. And the funny thing is, I tend to buy mostly from Massachusetts because it's. Hold on, right over there. I had to think about it. And since I live close to the state line. It's easier for me to actually go to a liquor store in Massachusetts. And technically, I can go to one where I live nearby. I could walk to one, technically, but it's kind of a, it's a mom and pop shop. It's kind of janky. You know, you go in there, it's like, uh, it's, it's almost like it's in a basement kind of feeling. You actually go down. You know, it's like not even the first floor. It's down into something that feels like a basement almost. It's creepy. I don't like it. And they have some random stuff, but I haven't actually looked recently. I looked last year, or no, I looked in 2019. I haven't been there in quite a while. Mm. If you just got here, let me know what you're drinking. Drinking. This is Eagle Rare for anyone who just arrived. And we're promoting the 350 plus subs. Lovely. Wonderful. Didn't think that was going to happen anytime soon, but it did. Actually, it felt like a drag. I don't know why, but it was like 300 to 350 felt like a very long time. But I have to remember that uh, getting from, I think it was 100 to 200, something like that, that happened kind of fast. I actually have to look up like my old streams to find out. That's another reason I do these. It keeps track of how long it takes for things to happen. Oh, yes, and the Patreon. I have to say, from the get-go, uh, I've just started making anything happen in Patreon at all. And it's a very laid-back environment, because I don't know what the hell to do with it. But I know I saw... I've seen so many other whiskey tubers who are around the same amount of subs as me. Uh, most of them have just blown past me, actually. But they've been starting their Patreon stuff. And I was like, well... I guess I should do that because I do need the support, honestly. But I don't know. You, I Patreon's a weird thing, man. 
Like if you can imagine it from your point of view, it's I have to keep creating stuff on the YouTube. And I guess Patreon, you're supposed to do more like other things, like stuff I'm definitely not going to do. <laughs> At most, there'll be like a private stream, maybe something. And I can't say I'll do one before my stream because mine's so early. Maybe like a late night or after dark kind of thing. We'll see. Uh, granted, a whole other a lot of people actually do streams at night. Pete Nights. I have thought of that. I did do a stream quite a while ago, I guess, where I had a bunch of peated stuff. I don't even remember what. But I have... Uh, my, my, my father actually had a peated scotch earlier today. He had Ardbeg at the, uh, the restaurant we were at. And I got to smell it. I didn't taste it because I would have blown everything for the rest of the day, basically. But I know what it smells like. And I have a bunch of peated stuff behind me. You probably can't see them there in the back because I don't drink them that often. It has to be a reason to drink them. And also, they're very expensive. So so I have like Ardbeg Oogdal, Lagavulin in 9, I want to say. It was a special uh, Game of Thrones release. And probably a Lefroig or two still. So there are those. That's three. And then I have Connemara, which is technically not a peated scotch, but it's a peated Irish. And it's tasty. I like it. But it's almost empty. I really need to finish the bottle. Let's take a look, shall we? Where is it? Oh, gosh. Never mind. I forgot it's in a container. And also it has things on it. It has grains on it. Oh, oh shit. This is one of the grains. Look, grains. These are actually, uh, this is peated grain, I think. This is from the Whiskey Vault slash Tribe slash Crowded Barrel. Oh. Smells like grain. Where'd the other one go? Old, please. It fell. Oh, there it is. There you go. It disappeared. Oh, there it is. Do I disappear off the screen? No. But this is their uh, God damn it, stuff on there. More grains, but this is the mix of stuff. It's like it's, it's actually a variety pack of grains, technically. All of those from Crowded Barrel. Stuff is happening. Hello. A toki that you have there. What do you think of it? Define there. <laughs> I don't know if it is. I'm not even sure what a toki is. So let me know. You can play uh, colder, warmer, warmer, colder. Yeah, I don't see anything that starts with T. Uh, the lady next door is being bonkers. Oogie doll. Oogie. Oogie doogie. Good grief. That's quite a lineup. Oogie doll, Lagavulin 16, and Arbeg. 10. Whew. You're going to be breathing like a dragon. Hope you can hear that. Someone's being murdered. No. Japanese bottle in front of the red box. Oh, that one. That Tokyo. Oh, yeah. Let me see. What did I think of that? It was kind of, it was fine. It was something my father bought, actually. I didn't actually go out and buy that one. But he liked it. I enjoyed it enough, but I haven't really touched it in a while. But as you can see, it's, you know, halfway empty already. And it's so light. Look at that. Weird. A vivid blend of carefully selected Japanese whiskey is silky with a subtle, sweet, and spicy finish. Mm. That's what it thinks. Sexton. Sexton's pretty good, actually. That was one of the whiskeys I had. <laughs> I can only say last month for a little while longer. In March, because of the uh, Irish stuff. Irish overload, I like to call it. Ben Nevis. Signatory Deeds in 12. Ooh. I'm actually going to check my own content. <laughs> that feels weird. 
but I know I reviewed the Toki, but I don't remember what I said, which is also part of why I make these videos, because I forget things all the time, as some of you may have noticed. Mm. I'm breaking my own rules already. I'm trying to I'm trying to drink four whiskeys in two hours. And it's already past the 30 minute mark. I should have finished this one already. I can shoot it. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna drink it a little faster. Oh birds. Gosh, I had Eagle Rare four months ago. That feels weird. Feels like I just had a bottle like two months ago. If that cripes. That's disturbing. This is how much this is how time flies. UK prices are mad. All right, let's see if I can find it. When the hell did I review that? That must have been last. It was last year. I have a lot of. Oh, this is a disturbing thing. I start to look at how much content I have. And it feels a little weird because I only started doing the videos officially at like the end of at the end of 2019, and as of this September, I will have been doing it for two years, sort of officially unofficially like i officially started making content at the end of 2019 and then shit happened so that slowed me down a little uh, especially then 2019 a lot of stuff that was bad happened like a loss of pet uh, major depression you know 2020 pandemic started you know all that fun stuff that kind of that kind of slowed me down from doing much of anything mostly the crippling depression though just so we're clear where is it? I can't find it. I want to, you know, link it in chat so you can actually see what I thought. But I don't even know what I thought because it was that long ago. Well, there's one of them. I'm finding the Japanese whiskeys. And, of course, it's not the one I actually want to look up. Did I actually do a review of it? You know what? I might not have. And I might not have because it was already opened. Like it was something I tried already and, you know... The, Theme of some of these videos is the first taste, first you know trying of the the whiskey. So it's very possible I didn't make a video. I feel like I did though. It feels weird that I didn't. I had a weird song stuck in my head. I've had this song stuck in my head since this morning. I think. Ah. Ooh. Yeah, it is more like a Scotch kind of thing. It's probably why my dad liked it to begin with. And he also liked it because it wasn't anything that was, you know, overpowering or aggressive. Which is good. I mean, as an introductory kind of whiskey, it's good to have something that's different and isn't, isn't messing with you, I suppose. I got to look this up now. I got to look it up the hard way because I can't find it. Will this actually work? No, I found the Hibiki. The Hibiki seems to be the only one I reviewed. Well, that's something I can put into my brain now. Is I can technically review the Toki for the first slash uh, second time in my head. But again, my father bought it, so I tried it with him. And then it kind of deleted the idea of actually trying it on video. Good night, Luna. Thank you for being here, as always. And come back again Sunday if you can. I'm, I'm looking into getting other guests on. If you weren't here last week, I got to have Whiskey Central on. That was a lovely time. It was nice to have a guest. But again, if you are a regular viewer here, I'm never going to say who the mystery guest is. Uh, you may find out through other ways, but if I do have guests in the future, it'll always be a mystery because I don't want to use other channels slash people as a draw to watch this. I want people to be here because they want to be here, not because a special guest is going to be here. That's a thing. It bothers me. I don't know why. I will take as good care of myself as I can. Uh, you know, you know my health issues, so to speak. Do what we can. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? It was nice to have a guest. Nice to have someone to chit-chat with. And it's one of those moments where I'm realizing, you know, I'm having a conversation with someone I would never have met otherwise, and... You know, she's in Mexico of all places, so it's nuts. And the uh, the Star Trek thing I did was it two weeks ago, 
That was interesting too, because most of that, well, a portion of them are in Australia. And some of them are all over the place. For the record, supposedly there's going to be another stream, Star Trek slash stream, tomorrow. I want to say tomorrow morning, my time, which is true, like 11, 11 a.m. my time, I think. Don't quote me on that. And that will be on Scotch Down Under. And that'll be interesting, as usual. Oh, God, they put out a gin? I hope you can't hear that. You probably can. Listen to her TV loudly for no good reason sometimes. Oh, she's nuts. Don't tell anyone. My eye is bothering me. What the hell? Why is this happening? I'm in a public setting. That's what it is. My eyes are going to bother me. And for anyone who's wondering, I have... Um, a dream is a wish your heart makes going through my head, and I don't know why. It's been there since this morning, among other songs that have popped in. Uh, and as as I've said before, I have a radio in my brain or an antenna or tinfoil hat that I'm unaware of. Just constant radio songs of some sort. A dream is a wish your heart makes when you're fast asleep. In dreams you lose your heartache. Whatever you wish for, you keep. <laughs> Have faith in your dreams, and someday a rainbow will come shining through. No matter how your heart is grieving, if you keep on believing, the dreams that you wish will come true. And then it's the humming and stuff. You may know the song. I don't know why it's in there. It's a Disney song. The bonkers. Hmm. I'm tentative of singing at all. I feel like I should because it's a celebration stream. But the back of my throat felt weird earlier. It still does, kind of. I don't know what I did. I just talk like this the whole time. It seems like a good idea. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'll do that. <clears throat> Whiskey Samurai, that is something I'm curious about. Uh, as with many spirits, there's gin, there's tequila. I was even considering buying the Mr. Black because that's been advertised in my face enough times for me to be curious. Because I do enjoy, uh, I enjoy Kahlua, which is like coffee liqueur, and Mr. Black is supposedly like cold brew style stuff that's not as sweet. And I would find that amusing and interesting, I think. So there's that. It's already 43 minutes. I haven't gotten to my second drink. I'm not good at this. Ah, it's lovely. It's a lovely start. Oh, something happened. <laughs> it is. I don't know where they come from. It's always something random. Oftentimes, well, infrequently, it's 90 songs. I'm trying to think what got in my head and a little while ago. It seems like every time I'm playing games or talking with a friend of mine on Discord or something, I'll tell him. I'm like, oh, there's this song stuck in my head now. What was the really random one? I can't remember. It was definitely a radio song from the 90s. It just popped into my head for no apparent reason. A little weird. All right, going to number two. And since I'm promoting, Ow. since I'm promoting the videos I did this week, Guess what? <laughs> if I did this one this week, I honestly, this is another thing I have a problem with. I can't remember what I did. Ugh. I'll look just to appease my brain. Did I do this one last week? If I did, I can always switch. I know I had, oh, I must have. Because I had this with uh, B -B 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 Whiskey Central. Ah. My brain no work is so good. i sorry. Dickle. We'll switch to Dickle. That's what I had. Some people are very sad about that. Not me. This is 50%, though. I have to switch things around now. God damn it. Actually, that's fine. 
because I ooh, wait, 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 maybe not. Nope, maybe not. God damn it. Some of you may know what number three is now. Dickel. George Dickel. Bottle and bond. I did this video technically on Monday, but it came out on Tuesday. So yay. It's controversial whiskey. Also Tennessee whiskey. Just a little bit. There we go. It seems like so little. <laughs> like I do tiny pours, and it's like, well, that's three sips, I think. Maybe. Get in there. I don't like this cork. Wow. That is terrifying. It has a terrifying cork because you have to shove it in there real hard. And if you get your skin, like you're trying to push it down, and you get, oh, it hurts. I did it once. I didn't like it. Oh. Alien head vodka. I'm assuming that's alien head. Ah. I wouldn't go for vodka. That is true. I'm trying to think when I would. Like, I'll have vodka in a martini. But, you know, there's flavored stuff in there. It doesn't taste like... You know, it doesn't taste like the vodka. I'm thinking I'm having a flashback of sorts to when I got a friend... When I got myself some uh, vodka in my younger days, and I was planning on drinking it, and it was absolute vodka, and I did not drink it. I had like one shot of it, and that was it. I think I took a nap instead. And I felt bad. Because I didn't get to go to Ozfest or something like that. There you go. I was listening to uh, Spotify earlier today. <sighs> Speaking of audiobooks, as some of you know, <coughs> why am I doing that? Sorry. <coughs> My yeah. human body is a fun thing. Uh, audiobook, Whiskey Women is still available down below on Audible. And look up Jimson recordings on Audible because you can scroll through a whole bunch of audiobooks we've done. I'm actually going through Robin Hood right now which will be released at some point in time. So if you never listen to Ro Robin, it's coming out. I'm doing the editing. I did some of the editing yesterday. It's a good book, actually. There's some weird stuff that happens in it, like certain things that are said that made me go, hmm. <laughs> but uh, it's an old book, so that's not surprising. It doesn't, at least not that I'm aware of. But there is probably a little medicinal thing, but I don't know if I call it Thunstone Vitamins. Oh, you're insane, JJ. Thank you. Woot woot. I'll check the email after this. If I try to do it now, I'll just confuse myself. Well, thank you. You're number two. <laughs> the fact that there's a number one already is astounding. I won't say who it is, but they might be here. Or they might not. Who knows? It's a mystery. Unless they speak up and then actually have to be the first person or else I'm just going to say, no, you're not. Ugh. There is something weird about this one. Again, I'm not going to give any notes because I already reviewed it. Slash, I didn't review it. I hate... Mm. I had a first taste of it recently and did a video of that. For whatever reason, recently I've decided I don't like the word review because I don't feel like I am qualified <laughs> Basically, to be like, I'm reviewing this whiskey. Mm. Notes of cotton candy and marzipan and maple syrup and candy corn. None of that's in here, I don't think. But uh, I don't know. I don't like the word review. This is probably a little thing. I've had stints like this. I've gotten no. I've gotten the uh, the word the nosing the nose of a whiskey. Sometimes that'll bother me if I say that. The new that's that's part of why in the videos I say begin nosing technique and then make that face. I, I have to work on my editing because if I can do begin nosing technique and then have it zoom in, I'll be funnier in theory. Is it? I wouldn't be surprised if this is different. This is the bottle and bond, by the way. It's not the 15, although I'm curious about the 15. I heard different things from different people. Of 
Ooh. Funny enough, that reminded me of that reminded me of Evan Williams. And I'm not sure if it's the white label or the black label. Oh. The legend is here. Hop it rolls. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. I like here's the thing. I was saying this earlier. It's like, yeah, congrats. 350. It's like, yeah. I got suckered 350 people to come in here. Sweet. That's my brain's way of being uh, negative, I think. It's not that they enjoy your content and they subscribed. It's somehow I've suckered 350 people and I don't know how. Because I'm a horrible human being. Oh, thank you, brain. I needed that today. Don't enjoy the fact that you're getting subscribers. Something's wrong. Somehow a mistake has happened. Yeah, I love it. Be happy you don't live in my head. It's not always a fun place. But this is a fun thing. Ow. I'm wearing my fancy shirt, damn it. Although I still don't like the color red. Don't know why. I like the color red on certain other people, but not on me. Like Jessica Rabbit. Whew, love that color red. Not that she's a person, but still. Ooh. HBR is here. Yay! It's always nice to see another YouTuber. I know there are a bunch of other YouTubers in here, but Hot Butter Rolls. I still love the name of your channel because, much like me, it's not, uh, you know, it, you know, ages ago, which feels like ages ago. I just started with Kilco being the name of the YouTube channel, and it was recommended that I put the word whiskey in it just so people are aware that this is whiskey content, among other things. Didn't it? It was so good. It definitely had me um, feeling pretty good for like two hours, three hours, whatever. It wore off just a little while ago when I had it at one thirty. So yeah, it probably took a couple hours to get out of my system. But it was delicious. It was a... I, I said what it was earlier and I've never forgotten. Blood orange. I can actually look at this, the recipe for you. It's not going to be the exact amount, but how I can at least look it up because it was pretty interesting. And it's mostly vodka for the record. So, you know, Fly Wire Whiskey Cheers. Yeah. Again, I don't know what's happened. People are subscribing. I don't understand. Isn't it? And for those of you who are wondering what Kilco means, it's just uh, much like my parents, they have Jim Sin recordings. My father's name being Jim and my mother's name being Cindy slash Cynthia. So I just threw it together. Jim's in recordings. For me, Kilco is just my last name. The beginning of my last name is K-I-L-L. -L, and no one can ever pronounce it correctly. So Kilco is a little easier instead of saying uh, Kalevi Whiskey Musings. It's just Kilco Whiskey Musings. It's easy to remember. The word kill kind of makes people go, what? So locked in there, I hope. I should do snuff films. Thankfully, I just do singing every now and then. Although I haven't actually made videos because, one, I don't know how to edit that well. Working on it. Trying to improve with that, even though a uh, complete amateur. Complete amateur, for the record. I, I just know how to edit, sort of. And I'm working on doing better things. Like, I can put pictures up here, and I can put words on, and I can zoom in now. I figured out how to do that. That's fancy. But uh, stuff like one of the things I was thinking of doing, emphasis on thinking, emphasis, 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 words are fun, is one of those, you know, videos where they have like four, four videos of the same person singing different notes, different tones, different mm, keys. Anyway, four, four pictures of me singing a song, except in different ways ish. It's a maybe. I'd have to record something more than once, and that's exhausting. Doug H, cheers. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Well, for anyone wondering, it's in a glass. It is Dickel Bottled and Bond, which I made a video of recently. And you can watch later. Stay here for now. Oh, yes, yeah, at the Patreon. I think the kick that finally made me start the Patreon was a couple things. Again, I think it was officially when I found out that uh, Whiskey Mountains was doing it. Whiskey Mountains? 
I guess, I think. My brain does not want to work at all right now. Whiskey Mountain, not mountains. Whiskey Mountain did it, and I saw her video, and I was like, well, I guess I might as well, finally, at long last. It's not like I've been trying to do content stuff for over a year and probably should have had the option. I think that was, what it was. that's what it was. I had a head of giving people the option. Like I have the option for PayPal and Venmo and all that. So why not throw another option in there that will help support me slash the channel. It's mostly my fear of not doing enough for patrons. Cause that feels, you know, this thing about responsibility. It's not a feeling I enjoy. It's something that kind of grades on me because then it's, it's like fuel for the fire things I don't do and things I should do, my brain starts to add that up. It's like, oh, you're not doing a good enough job. Oh, people are paying you for content and you're not making enough. Ugh. The joy is a mental illness, as I like to say. Man, this weirded me out that my the dick old bottle and bond seems to smell like Evan Williams 101. Not 101. Evan Williams bottle and bond. Even though they're two completely different things. God damn it. I'm trying to look something up. It's not working. Well, there's an old default right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got that note I don't like. What is that? It's like a tannin-y thing or an oaky thing. It just turns me off, so to speak. God damn it. I was just trying to look up something. Hot buddy rolls. I can't. I want to order online. Damn you. There we go. Let's do that. Damn it, Janet. I love you. Don't do that. <clears throat> it's too easy to get songs stuck in my head if I know them. For anyone who's wondering, that's Rocky Horror. If you didn't know. Baba. I still have the other song stuck in my head, though. Her. Da -da 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 I'm going to have that stuck in there for a while. In dreams, you will lose your heartache. Whatever you wish for, you keep. Uh, okay. Where? Where? The funny thing is, I should put, I should put this out there into the world. The the only reason I know there's a menu for this and such is because I was looking it up yesterday because I knew I was going to go out to a restaurant. I'm that kind of guy. I have to know what I'm going to order before I'm going to order it or else I freak out a little bit. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't want to order a line. God damn it. Creeps. I will find this thing. Now I'm just determined out of sheer stubbornness. It sucks. Yeah, it doesn't really suck. It's got a catering menu. That's good to know. Not what I'm trying to look up, but that's okay. That low note is rough. So yes, as I was saying before, uh, the weird part is trying to, you know, again, giving people the option to support the channel in a different way. Because not everyone likes PayPal, not everyone has Venmo. Is that the only two I use? I think so. Yeah, and now I have Patreon out there. And I have more than one subscriber now, so I hear. I'll have to check. I'm sure I do, because they said, you know, they subscribed and that was subscribed. And I should point out that the Patreon is in Star Trek mode. So every rank or every tier is a rank of uh, Star Trek stuff. The highest you can get is Commander because technically I'm the captain. Technically. Do I know what I'm doing as the captain? No. <laughs> We're going to get absorbed by the Borg. We'll do that. Ah, here we go. Blood Orange Drop Martini. Hop it or roll if you're still here. I'm telling you the stuff. 
Uh, ice pick vodka. I don't know what the hell that is. Blood orange liqueur, lemon juice, and a sugared rim to make it really fancy. It was delish. But that's all it was. You know, it's three things plus the uh, lemon lemon rim. So ice pick vodka or just regular vodka. Blood orange liqueur, which sounds delish, which is probably why I liked it. A little bit of lemon juice. Wonderful. Probably shaken or stirred. I have no idea. I have no idea. Cedar wood. Oh. Oh, thank you, Miss Samurai. <laughs> I wanted to go like this. <laughs> Don't know why. Oh, I know why. That's uh that's what it is. For relaxing time. Make it Suntory time. I think that's in the movie. I'm not really sure. I haven't seen it. Ra. Oh, I shouldn't have said rah. Now I have rah, rah, Rasputin. Shit. Why, my, why must my brain be this way? I can't do. And yeah, again, the, the I poured, when I pour Dickel, Bottle and Bond, tastes a little weird now. That is so bizarre. Why? Why is that a thing? It tastes to me like Evan Williams Black or Evan Williams Bottle and Bond. That is really bizarre. I'm tempted to pour Evan Williams Black now just to see. I'm not going to because Evan Williams Black. I will make a martini out of that maybe. Not a martini. Old fashioned. There we go. Whew. My brain is, is good. It works very well. It's already been an hour. I'm ooh, ooh. moving on to number three soon. I only poured a little bit. It feels like I poured much more than I did. Hmm. Oh, I have to talk about other streamers too. Because this is technically a pregame for a pregame for a show. Technically. And I'm assuming all of you know that already. Yeah. Ouch. So the Bourbon Wrench goes live at 8 p.m. my time, which is a little over, oh, a little less than an hour. Huh. And then ADHD Whiskey goes live at 10 p.m. my time, and they are doing, what was it, Matt Madness or something like that? And I believe it's It's Bourbon Night versus two other channels. I don't remember exactly who it is. I think I know one of them. Hang on. Bourbon Bites. I can't remember what the other one was to save my life. So there you go. That's happening later. The funny thing is when I heard people say hunting early on, I was like, what? Hunting? I don't like hunting. You have to kill something. That's not very nice. No, no, hunting bottles. Oh, that's okay. It's fine. I know what I'm going to do tonight other than having streams, op having streams open. I'm probably going to play uh, video games all night. Until I pass out. Yay. Because I'm going to be tired. I actually did. <laughs> here's here's the problem. I am so blah as an adult. That I did what regular people do for one day. And it's probably going to mess me up for the rest of the week. End. I can't. I keep forgetting it's Friday. So I went. Had lunch with the folks. Sounds easy. Went to the liquor store. Not so easy. Was liquor store. I went to Starbucks. That's something else I did. So it's so it counts. Then I went to the grocery store and got some milk and like muffins or something. I feel like something else, but I forgot what. And then I went to get some coffee, coffee grounds, so I can make some coffee over the weekend instead of going to Starbucks. That's all I did, and it fatigued the hell out of me already. Like I can feel it in my eyes. You know, that's kind of tired feeling I'm getting. Oh, Bardstown Prisoner didn't get a great review. The thing about reviews is it's just one person, so. Granted, I've never had any Bardstown, so I know nothing about it other than I think, uh, I feel like ADHD Whiskey did the thing with them. That's how I got the World's Top Whiskey Taster thing, I think. That was not that long ago, but my brain, as I've said, doesn't know where he's so good. Hard to remember things. 
And I wasn't there. I wish it was, but I wasn't. Much like uh, this past weekend where a bunch of Whiskey Tube people were in Kentucky for Whiskey Weekend? Bourbon Weekend? What the hell was that called? Anyway, long story short, I wasn't there. And I would have liked to be, but it cost, I think, hundreds of dollars to actually go, which I don't have. Thus, why there's a PayPal and a Venmo link below, and why I started a Patreon. And if anyone doesn't know already, it's because I don't have a job. And I haven't for 10 years. Believe it or not, I have survived in the world without a job for 10 years. Barely. <laughs> That's the scary part. I feel like I'm going to lose my apartment every every month. I'm not. It feels that way. Uh-oh. Discord things are happening. I still have to have a Bardstown. That's my thing. I don't. I know nothing about it officially. Hmm. Well, at the very least, I'm not getting a uh, Flintstone vitamin taste. But it's weirding me out that it start. It tastes like M. Williams to me. At the moment, again, having whiskeys in a row changes everything. Like, if I had an Ardbeg right now, nothing would taste the same at all. They are. From what I understand, the, the Bardstowns are expensive. What else have I seen that I wanted to try, but it was stupidly expensive? I don't know. Most of them are. So. Other than the makers FAE01, which is the only makers I can probably remember. No. No, there's nothing in my head that wants to work right now. Bardstown's up there. There's another one. I cannot freaking remember what it is. And it was something that people, a lot of people got. And I couldn't get. So it was one of those. Well, not couldn't. Shouldn't is the wording. Should not get. Because uh, as, as some of you know, there's a whole bunch of whiskeys behind me right now because I don't have the room. These are all full. I have no room. I'm going to put something behind me at some point and... Put the bottles on there, but right now, eh -eh. number three, because I'm running out of time. Look at that. This is a special bottle of Four Roses, small batch select. It's my friend. Kentucky Street Bourbon Whiskey, crafted from six unique bourbons, 52%. And again, I did a video this week, this past week. This week. I did three videos this week. It feels weird. Whoa. And again, look at the cork. That's huge. It's huge. Take out a donkey with that. I don't know why you want to throw a cork at a donkey, but you have the option. Mm, pouring a little more of this one because I like it. Hello, Mom. Whoa. A toast to my mother. It's her birthday. If you haven't, uh, if you weren't here at the beginning, it's my mother's birthday. We had lunch. I don't need extra shelving. I need to get that bar thing. Cheers to you, mother. Oh, it smells wonderful. Oh, I like Four Roses too much. Oh, we did find out an interesting fact. Was it... Ma, was it your father or dad's? I can't remember. Dad's? Who said he liked Four Roses? <laughs> Older, no wiser. Well... I never claimed to be wise, so there's that. Dads. So apparently my father's father used to drink Four Roses on and off. Not often, but one of the things he went for. Which I like to hear, because it explains why I like Four Roses in my head. So there you go. Happy about that. Mm. I'm not getting a huge nose off of this, but I don't really expect to get much off of it because this is the third whiskey I poured in the same glass. <laughs> I'm just going to do this for the rest of the stream. Just... I'm going to do that. I was thinking about something, but I got distracted. 
Oh yeah, I'm on the uh the thing. That bar thing that's probably too big for my car. Something like that. Maybe. I gotta hold on. Mother's birthday. And the happy birthdays. We'll we'll show all those. Do 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 do. And did you? This is uh maybe. I have to say, I don't other people have said I have an interesting palette, or at least a decent palette, but for me it's just I want to make it clear that my palette to me is not anything fancy, and I'm actually terrified of that thing that uh what happened? It used my you know this. I it used to be like mashed potatoes or something, where I was the the chef de cuisine on all mashed potatoes for some reason. I don't even remember how that started. But uh, yeah, that was that was a weird thing. <laughs> That's a weird childhood memory. I was a professional potato eater. I knew which ones were good and which were bad. I just shifted to whiskey now. Not true. I mean, judging potatoes isn't really a complicated thing. They all taste a lot the same. It depends on how much butter you use, I think. That's the secret. However, uh, I have to say, I do know a good French fry when I have it. And there's a place nearby that makes some amazing French fries. If you were if you were on the Instagram thing and watch any of the pictures I post there, I think I posted that on Wednesday, Thursday. I went and got takeout from there. I did that as a treat. Cross country trip, mashed potato king. Okay, and that explains how it started. I also have a weird memory of. It's like I got sick for a little while and I didn't drink milk and then I didn't want to drink milk again for some odd reason. I don't even know why. But I feel like that's probably when my anxiety started kicking in for no reason. I would assume. Hmm. And for anyone just showing up, I do like Four Roses. And this is a special Four Roses. I gave a little bit to my dad when I saw him earlier today. Hopefully he'll drink that tomorrow. He already had his whiskey today. We'll see. Again, he had Ardbeg. So, yeah. PC, thank you. Also, welcome. Welcome. Here's to 50 more, and then 50 more after that, and then 50 more after that. I realize if I do keep up, and again, this is, this is a get... Every time I say this, it feels less and like li less likely that it will happen. Is if I get to four hundred and then five, you know, four fifty. There's a lot of live streams I'll have to do leading up to the a thousand mark. That's what one every fifty. I can't my math. Hold on, we're at three fifty. So four hundred, four fifty, five hundred, five fifty, six hundred, six fifty, seven hundred. 750, 800, 850. That's at least 10 more streams. And then my brain doesn't want to work anymore. 900, 950, 13. Wow, my head. Did I mention I'm terrible with numbers and math? Because that hurt my brain. So I'd have to do 13 more live streams for the 50 markers. I have been told at some point things start rolling real fast, and I'm terrified of that happening. Oh, man, that sounds delish. Here's the funny thing. I've never really made mashed potatoes. I just know I like them with butter, and I would definitely like them milk, butter, uh, spring onions, all that. That would that'd be grand. But I guess I've switched over to French fries because they're just easier to deal with. And you can get them everywhere. I don't do fast food rest uh, fast food French fries though. They're not they're not up to snuff. I have to have restaurants <laughs> restaurant type French fries, or else they're just no good. I'm very snobby about my French fries. It seems no idea why. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. This 
That's right. Four Rose is spicy. Kind of like um, kind of like Wild Turkey 101. Similar thing. There's a little fruit note in there, too. What was that? That was lovely. Welcome, Edward. Cheers to you. Happy Friday. Happy end of the month. For all of you just showing up, happy end of the month. Slash Friday. End of the week, end of the month. It doesn't happen. It's once in a blue moon. Another phrase that is confusing to me because I have to think about it too much. Blue moon happens every three months or something, doesn't it? I don't know. I looked that up and I've already forgotten what it is. God damn it, I can't get this out of my head. Alex, welcome. Good day. Welcome to the show. We're having whiskey, if you didn't know. <laughs> That's the thing for this. Drink whiskey, enjoy it. Talk whiskey, enjoy it. I am on the Four Rosen Select, a small batch select, which is stupidly expensive, unfortunately. And I was still considering buying a bottle of Four Roses single barrel today, which was $45. I didn't. I was tempted. And other than the Maker's Mark SAE01, there's I feel like there's something else that caught my eye that I considered. But of course now my brain is just not working at all. What the hell was it? I also thought about getting Woodford just because Derby, but the thing is, I don't want to be one of those people who's getting sucked in by advertisement. And though I haven't seen a lot of advertisement, it's the fact that Woodford Reserve and the Derby are linked. That's all it takes. And keep in mind, I do not watch the Derby, and I do not care who wins. I have never cared who wins. I like mint juleps. That's about it. That's all I'll say. A pink moon? What? Sounds lovely. I gotta stop saying that. I gotta stop saying lovely. Behave. <laughs> I know you're joking. What is this whiskey you speak of? See, this is the kind of this is the friendship we have here. Bourbon to fight. Welcome. Happy Friday slash end of month. We're drinking whiskey because why not? What the hell? Oh yeah, there's Maker's Mark at the restaurant we went to. I feel like there's something else, but I can't remember what. What I will have to do someday is make myself a weird old fashioned where I mix two whiskeys to make one drink. It's madness. Ooh, I have to do that at the end. Ooh, <laughs> uh, it's gonna be weird. But I'm gonna do a blend at the end of the four whiskeys I just poured. Little amounts. I'm not gonna measure them. I'm gonna do just a little bit of each because that sounds fun. The, the picture that Trev has up for his live stream is ridiculous. I don't know how the Forrest Gump thing happened with him, but it's hilarious. Mm. I remember now. Like, he did four Gump, Forrest Gump trivia for some reason while he's in the military. Which is a random thing to do, but hey, I've never been in the military, so there's that. Thankfully, I could never get into the military because of mental health problems. Yay. Suck it. Yes. That is something that is said on Trev Stream. I'm not sure why, but I've learned not to ask too many questions. I am also terrified of that happening for this uh, this channel. Is something like I say will just catch. Saying lovely, I say that a lot. I know with uh, Aqua Vitae, it's fantastic. <laughs> he says that a frequent, a frequent amount of time. What else does he say? What are his little, what's the word for that? Not nuances, it's something else. No, I can't remember. Words are words. What else does he say? Damn it. He's Scottish. He's got an accent. That's also glorious. I like to think I do not have an accent, but to some people, I definitely do. What it sounds like, I will never know. Although, if you look on YouTube, there is some video out there. If you type in, what do Americans sound like to other people in other countries? And it's... Real weird. Because you know it's like speaking English, but the words are all messed up, and it just feels bizarre. But it's an interesting uh, catchphrase, kind of. I think I was thinking of a different word, but that's close enough. Catchphrase is something you say on purpose, I feel like. 
but with me anyway, I say lovely just because I'm not thinking about it. What else? I'm trying to think what else Aquavite says other than fantastic. That's not it's not gonna come to me if I keep thinking about it. What was the other thing I say that I'm not a fan of? Lovely. And there's another one. Often I say it when... No, I, I say lovely after I open a cork for some reason. Just because. To be fair. That's that's also... Uh, who is that? I know there's a streamer who says that. I can't remember who it is. Damn it. That's another catchphrase slash nuance thing, whatever the word is. Can't remember. That's right, Ed. That's right. I haven't seen him in a hot minute, so. Clifton and Ed, all right. Yeah, little things like that suddenly become a trend, and all of a sudden you need to put it on a T-shirt. You know, ah, that's terrifying. Not going to happen in my world. I don't plan to make merch ever, but you never know. If it becomes a demand by more than, pick a number that's crazy, 20, 50 people. <laughs> I was going to say 25, but I realized I should double that because I don't want to do it. Bye, Mom. Happy birthday again. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, yeah. Enjoy dinner. They're going out to dinner. Say hi to Kev for me. Kev is my brother. He's buying. So is that. What else do I say that bothers me? Son of a bitch. And this is the only things you notice when you edit your own content. You start to see things come up more than once. Urgh. I have to keep that in mind that I can't say to be fair. I don't think I ever have, but now it's going to lodge itself in my brain and just show up occasionally if I'm not paying attention. I say mental illness a lot, but I don't think that counts. That's just because I talk about it. Because why not? I have a feeling that mental illness and alcohol are somehow related. <laughs> Terrible truth, but yeah, there's that. And I feel like mental illness for me, it's like talking about the weather. It's constant. Everyone's happy to talk about the weather, but as soon as you say mental illness, people start to leave. That's okay. So far, my mental illness is okay. I can talk about my new medication. What the hell is this called? Gabapentin. Supposedly, it stops uh, strokes or something. I don't have strokes, by the way. It's just something they give you for reasons. Oh, these are lovely. May cause drowsiness. Uh, may cause dizziness. May cause blurred vision. Well, alcohol already does that, so. Oh, yeah, and it can affect your mood. That's always fun. You gabba gabba. I'm just going to be stuck on the thought of what the hell do I say as a catchphrase. Although catchphrase feels like the wrong word. There is actually a word for when you say something regularly, but I don't know what it is. Because science. No, because... um. My brain doesn't want to remember right now, which is fun. Going on to number four, I'm going to finish this off. Wow. That was a lot more than I thought it was. <laughs> Fine. Oh, that's good. Tongue tingles. I say tongue tingles. Well, that's a descriptive term that I use in my videos because that's how it feels. There's a tingling on my tongue. I don't know what else to call it. I thought of a phrase right there and I almost spit out my water. Give me those tongue tingles feels real weird. Or give me that tongue tingle. Because people talk like that occasionally. That would refer to high proof whiskey, I guess. Give me that, give me that tongue tingle. Oh, my brain. Why? Why must I do this to myself? Number three, four. Wow. Number four of our 
re-review, re-re, what am I doing here? Revisiting. I'm revisiting the whiskeys I, I reviewed this week, this past week. So check those videos out and like and subscribe. And the YouTube overlords demand your thumbs and that kind of thing. That's not a catchphrase, though. I just say that because it's better than saying just like. <laughs> like the video. No, no. The YouTube overlords. It's their fault. They want you to like or dislike the video. They demand your thumbs. Oh, that was a fun noise. That was a creaky cork. And we have, this is Bullet Barrel, Bullet Bourbon Frontier Whiskey uh, Barrel Strength. And I definitely don't know how to talk in a Texas accent, but this sounds about right. It's me. Yeehaw. That's all you have to do is you have to slur your words and say yeehaw every now and then. I think. Anthony, welcome. Schwelcome, schwelcome. Schwelcome to the show. I feel like I put, I did. I poured a little extra of this by accident because I wasn't paying attention. I'm bad at pouring. This is why I will never be a bartender because I pour too much all the time. All the time, every time. I'm trying to think of what I want to do Sunday. I did Chattanooga last week. And that was weird, for the record. Having the fig-flavored Chattanooga or, well, uh, or fig barrel finish, that was... <sighs> that was scary. I couldn't do scotch, actually. I've been doing a lot of bourbon stuff recently, mostly because I have a lot of bourbon samples, but also because freaking... Well, I like bourbon in general. But also, you know... It costs less, so there's that. But I have samples of Cuddy Sark Prohibition Edition, which I think is Scotch. I really don't know. Log of Woolen 11, the Offerman Edition. I'm curious about that. Kalila, Kalila 12. That'll be nice. So I could do the um, Pete thing. I might do that Sunday. No guarantees. There's a rye over here. Uh, what is this? Nope, those are Russells. I did Russells the week before, I think. Yeah, those are Russells. So I have, I can do a lineup right there. I can do Kalila, Lagavulin, but I don't know about Cuddy Sark. I don't think that's peated. I don't think. To be fair in my accent. I have to remember what my accent is. I believe if I start to talk like this, this is like my Forrest Gump impression almost. I gotta sound I gotta sound more Texan. There we are. Gotta say it like this. Gotta be a little aggressive. Get my hat and my boots. That's gonna be great. To be fair, there we go. To be fair. To be fair, I wanna have a steak. And I need a gun and uh, my boots, my hat, and a sheriff's badge, just because. That's Texas. Yeehaw! <laughs> Always add the yeehaw. Not sure why. Oh, God, this thing needs to stop doing that. Getting a little pop-up from one of my game browser thingamajigs. Ah! Mmm, mmm, mmm. It actually smells better than it did a couple days ago. And I haven't even, well, I, I have to admit I did make myself an old-fashioned of this after I reviewed the, the whiskey. That could have been a mistake. I was feeling a little weird the next day. Nail it. Sweet. I do wonder, I do declare, if I talk like this for one stream and no one else could tell that I was not Texan or Kentuckian or Southern, I just talk like this the whole time. No one would know, except me, except you guys. Pretty sweet, I gotta say. I don't know why I have to do accents today, but I'm enjoying it for the moment. And then we switched to Forrest Gump. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Hello, Jane. Jane. That was a good movie. I haven't watched it in years. I'm trying to think of Scottish now. Good grief. Ross Perot. 
I've heard that name. I can't remember who that is because my brain. Tennessee, welcome. Trollkins, welcome. Have a drink. We're just having a drink. It's fine. I'm trying to think of a Scottish accent. We were talking about, well, I was talking about Aquavita, or Aquavitae earlier. Hello, Whiskey Pook. I can't think of anything other than Hello, Whiskey Pook. That's the easiest thing to do. No. No, I can't go any further than that. It's hard to do. Let's say with Irish. I can't, I can hear it in my head, but I don't know if I can repeat it. Foghorn Leghorn. What? <laughs> Horrible lisp. Good God. Especially when drinking. I can understand that. Ran for president in the 80s. Oh, what was the thing they were doing on Hot Better Rolls? I looked up the guy. It had something to do with baseball. I'm trying. I'm going to try to imitate it. It's going to be bad. <laughs> I don't remember what he said. I don't know what he says, so it's hard to do an accent. Well, hello, folks. My name is, I have no idea what this guy's name is. He just talks like this a lot and moves his head around. I don't know why. Tell me what that is, because I don't know. I just remember it's some sports guy about baseball thing. That's all I remember. It's not Scottish, it's crap. Crap. Ah. Harry Carey. Yes, that's probably it. They were doing impressions of him on Hot Butter Rolls recently. It was hilarious. And they were singing. I have to sing another song of some sort. I don't know what I want to sing, though. Because that's a great way to lose viewers as well. Talking whiskey talk, talking whiskey talk. Let's have a song. Oh, screw this guy. I'm out of here. 1 through 55, 7. Woodman Jack. Yeah, seven. Whenever someone asks me to pick a number, I'll probably default to seven. Or if it's really high, I can just say 77. This is tasty. Oof. That was a little weird at the end. God, Moody, thank you for being here. Tune in next week. No, tune in Sunday. Tune in Sunday. We'll be back for Sample Sunday. And I'll be talking like a radio host because I don't know what else to do at the moment. And this seems like the best thing to do for this moment. Now a word from our sponsors. Ah, Jack Candles number 27. Gold. That sounds expensive. Sorry. <laughs> Whoops. Yes. Will Ferrell is Harry Carey? Good God. That sounds outrageous. That's the thing. I looked up who it was, and I was like, I have no idea who this guy is. He was on way before my time. He was doing stuff. Who else do I have weird impressions for? There's always Bugs Bunny, but he just says, eh. What's up, Doc? Uh, who's the other one he talks to? If you haven't figured it out, I like doing weird accents, but the problem is you don't want to be the guy where people are like, hey, 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 do the voice. Do, do, do the guy, the voice of the guy. You know the guy? Oh, it's going to be great. Do the voice. I don't want to be that guy. I like doing accents when I feel like it. Oh, I can hear his voice, but I can't do it. Hold on. He says, Waskly Wabbit. He talks like this all the time. Don't quite know what is it, what his name. <laughs> and he laughs like that. I don't remember who it is. Oh, that's going to bother me. Damn it. I can also picture uh, Roger Rabbit in my head, but I don't think I could re repeat that. Because that's higher up. It hurts my head trying to think about it. Blech. I still have that song stuck in my head. So that's the one I want to do. Gah. Elmer Fudd, that's right. Uh, 
Ooh, you wascally wabbit. <laughs> uh, I haven't watched cartoons like that in too long. I'm trying to think of a song to do, but my brain, again, doesn't want to work. Check my, my list. I have a list of songs I can sing on my phone, but after four drinks of whiskey, my brain's kind of sluggish, to say the least. Uh, oh. Adam, thank you. Oh, hi. My phone's doing things now. Uh, I'm going to do that a couple times tonight. I'm sorry. Uh, where, what was I looking up? God damn it. Why must I be this way? I was looking up something on my phone. Oh, yeah, my list. Song list. Ha ha. I remembered for the moment. Quality entertainment here. Me looking at my phone. I understand. I know this is what you wanted. That's why you're here. <laughs> it is definitely not why you're here. Uh, song list, song list, song list. Where is the song list? There it is. Yeah. Oops. Oh, that's a good one. That's another good one. Oh, I can do my default song. I can remember all, all the words. Okay, here we go. More than the greatest love the world has known. This is the love I'll give to you alone. More than the simple words I try to say. I only live to love you more each day. More than you'll ever know, my arms long to hold you so my life will be in your keeping, waking, sleeping, laughing, weeping, longer than always is a long, long time. But far beyond forever, you'll be mine. I know I never lived before, and my heart is very sure. No one else could love you more. But I don't. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mazel tov. That's an easy song that I remembered a very long time ago. There were at least two or three times in that. I was like, I hope I know the rest of these words because I've already started. Mm. My brain is getting fuzzy at this point because I've had three to four whiskeys. <laughs> Bravo. 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 What do they do? The, uh, the hippies do? Not the hippies. Beatniks? I don't know what that word is. They snap a lot. You know, I've done better. No. There's a list of songs on here. I'll, I'll let you know what they are, at the very least. That one's just called More, if you're wondering. Who sang it originally? I don't really know. But I have Amazing Grace. I don't remember all the words for that. And it's not exactly upbeat, we'll say. Someone to watch over me? I honestly don't remember that song. And that's on this list, which means I should have it in my brain. I've got you under my skin when I fall in love. Can't help falling in love. Once in love with Amy. Uh, this nearly was mine. Ave Maria. Empty chairs. Try to remember, which seems like an appropriate song for me. Because I always try to remember. <laughs> oh, Jenny boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling. From glen to glen and down the mountainside. That's a little depressing. In the wee small hours of the morning. Music of the night. It's a Phantom of the Opera. Some enchanted evening. Then we have Change Partners. To Dream the Impossible Dream. That's on here as well. Mr. Cellophane. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Who can I turn to? A couple other on here. What are these? These are songs I'm not quite sure of. Rose of Turley. 
I'll take you home again, Kathleen, and good night, Irene. I don't remember those songs at all. They're on here, but they got little asterisks next to them, so that means something, I, I think. Exactly what I don't know. I'll hug you. I'll hug your brother. Yeah. Oh, I can do Elvis. Hipster, yeah. I'm thinking of the 60s, 70s era. But again, a little before my time. Can't see. I'm glad you like it. I would sing more often, but I always get a little paranoid that I'll scare viewers away. Because they're here for getting drunk. They're not here to hear someone sing. I assume. <laughs> mm. Ooh, bye. Is this the one that has a mint note? I don't remember. But it feels like it does. A little bit. It's good. I like. Let's see if I can do another song. I feel yeah. like singing and celebrating. How many drinks have you had today, Brian? I don't know. Oh, good. So you want to sing a song? Yes. Okay. That's how my brain sounds, if you're wondering, when I do that back and forth. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's arguing with itself constantly. That came out of nowhere. Good God. Where the hell is it? I just lost my... Uh, I lost the song list already. I'll have another. There it is. Wait, they're similar. Oh, wait. I know an Elvis song. Hold on. I think I know an Elvis song. I know Blue Christmas. That's a little... It's not quite right. Oh. Gosh, you know all the words. Wise men say only fools rush in. But I can help a falling in love with you. Shall I stay? Would it be a sin if I can help a falling in love with you? Two, three, four. Like a river flows early to the sea, darling, so it goes, something is meant to be. So take my hand, take my whole life too, cause I can help. I fall in love with you. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Whew, yeah. Johnny Bravo at the end there. Mm, whiskey. Whiskey and song. It's all good. Mm. Papa Chapta. There's a little mint to that. That's weird. We usually get that with bourbons. Oh, I'm so tired now. Why did I do that to myself? Singing songs exhausts me, apparently. And one thing I haven't done in a while is karaoke, come to think of it. Karaoke. Because, you know, bars and people and singing, that's the thing. That was the thing back in 2019. I went to a bar and I sung a song in front of an audience. There was clapping and they loved it. That's my old man voice. Good grief. Who does that sound like? Well, I guess it's going to bother me now. It's modeled after something. Shiza, I'm not going to remember. Audiobook of my favorites. Musical hits. Well, 
I really dig the Rat Pack. So if you're looking for something from them, that's pretty easy. That's my my go to for old school music. Audiobooks, audiobooks, audiook. I'm not sure what that means. Probably a typo. Audio link. I don't know. But musical hits other than Rat Pack. Let's see. I have a wide range of musical likes, so there's that. Like it goes from heavy metal to, you know, Rat Packs, Croners, old school music. I have a whole. Uh, Spotify has a number of different sections where it's like you like these kind of genres. Enjoy. I remember "Ain't That a Kick in the Head" the song. I know it exists, but I don't know all the words. There are very few songs that I've actually remembered the words to. To be perfectly honest. Some of them, like the song I just did with the Elvis accent thing, I wasn't quite sure of some of the words there for a half a second. Right before I started to sing the next verse, I'm like, do I know it? I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, there it is. Whew. Gosh, I know ain't that the kick in the head, but the lyrics. I don't have them in order in my brain. Ain't that a kick in the head? Something like that. I don't even remember how it goes. That's annoying. But that is up there. That's one of the songs I didn't enjoy. But I also do a lot of... Uh, I have a lot of songs that are from musicals, unsurprisingly. Theater Upbringing. So there you go with that. Like, Oh, What a Beautiful Morning. I'm pretty sure I know most of that. Oh, what a beautiful morning. And oh, what a beautiful day. That's that's a long song. I got a beautiful feeling. Everything's going my way. Oh, that's gonna be stuck in my head now. Ooh. Yeah, I'll look at the lyrics. Right, that a kick in the head because I feel like that's all it would take. But I'm not 100 percent sure on the way it's sung either. Typing. Whoop. Oh, I have to keep an eye on the clock. The last time I, uh, the last, last Sunday's stream, I went for three hours instead of two because it's bourbon. I didn't go on. So that was fun. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Oh, wait, wait. Ah, eh, eh. Oh, all right. The start helped. Let's see. Hold on. I have to rearrange my brain. There we go. How lucky can one guy be? I kissed her and she kissed me. Like the fellow once said, ain't that a kick in the head? The room was completely black. I hugged her and she hugged back. Like the sailor said, quote, ain't that a hole in the boat? My head keeps spinning. I go to sleep and keep grinning. If this is only the, only the, if this is just the beginning, my life is going to be beautiful. A sunshine enough to spread. It's just like the fella said. Take me quick. Ain't that a kick in the head? There's another verse or two, but or four. I don't want to risk messing that up. I was lucky I remembered the tune just a little bit. Just a little. Yeah, it ends the same. Hold on, now I gotta finish it because it's bothering me. <laughs> like the fellow once said, ain't that a kick in the head? Like the Santa said, this is the thing that's bothering me. Because I don't know exactly how this goes. Ain't that a kick in the head? Like the fellow once said, ain't that? It's got the blah, blah, same thing like three times. My head keeps spinning. I go to sleep. Oh, wait. There we go. That's the ending. So many reverberative things. 
She's telling me we'll be wed. She's picked out a king size bed. I couldn't feel any better. I'd be sick. Tell me quick. Oh, whoa, hi. Oh, ain't that a kick? Tell me quick. Ain't that a kick in the head? Yeah, I did the, the head part too early because I wasn't sure of the next two verses or three verses. Ah, Richie Z. Hi, welcome. Hi. Hi, hi. We're crooning a little bit. I like singing every now and then, but it's mostly my fear of not knowing the lyrics or how the song goes that tends to stop me. Like every time. That and people came here to drink. They don't want to hear a guy singing. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's the funny thing. I got into crooner type, you know, Frank Sinatra kind of stuff just from, I think I had a really crappy job. That's what it was. I was working as a dishwasher at a college. You can imagine that. It was, that was a grim time in my life because I was of college age, but I didn't go to college because money. But uh, yeah, I felt a little bad going to this fancy, you know, ritzy upscale kind of college in my area. It's called Salve Regina University. Kind of, oh, I can't even. I can't even begin to try to describe it. It's one of those a little, little ritzy kind of place. But yeah, that was not fun. But someone would always play Rat Pack music at the end of the day, where I'd have to sweep up and clean the floors and all that kind of, and take out the trash. Ooh. Glad I'm not doing that anymore. It was awful. You ever want to feel real bad, be a dishwasher. It's an interesting job, to say the least, but it's definitely not something you want to do every day. Because I did, it sucked. It sucked a lot. <whistles> now I got the song stuck in my head. <whistles> All right, I have to do the mix before the end. We're already 10 minutes, less than 10 minutes until the stream ends. <gasps> That was a mistake. No. Ah, oh, spicy. Ha, ah, oh, tongue tingles. Hi. Woohoo. It's party time. It's Friday. We're having drinks. And again, end of the week, end of the month. Doesn't happen very often for me, if I notice. I'm actually going to look that up now. <laughs> end of the week, end of the month. How often does that happen? Rarely, I suppose. It probably hasn't happened since I've been doing streams. Unless it ends on a Sunday. It's Friday or Sunday it has to end for me. For me to even think about noticing. Oh, my brain. My brain is officially fried. Because many pours of whiskey. The last one being the highest proof and accidentally the most I poured. So there's that. All right. Here we go with the blend. Before the end of the night, well, beginning of the night, technically, end of the stream. A little bit of wild turkey. Wild turkey? Wow. Eagle rare. Like I said, eagle rare. I did it. Trying to pour about as much as I did for each one. I know where my brain went to with that. I said, I said, did I say eagle rare or wild turkey? I don't remember anymore. My brain is quickly deteriorating. But we were talking about wild turkey rare breed early on. And I'm equating that with eel rare now. And my brain doesn't want to work anymore because it's tired. Little bit of dickle. That's going to make things weird. Ah, this is the cork I don't like. Ugh, there we go. Richie Z, I hope you come back for the replay. You don't have to. I haven't I haven't said anything up, up there yet. So I'm not going to. I tend to forget. It also takes a long time for things to upload completely. Ouch. So I will send everyone over again if you can do the thing. If you go to Trev's stream, say Kilco sent you. I think Eric Waits going live too. They both have like overlapping times. But if you go to his stream, or if you go to both, tell him Kilco sent you because. 
I don't know. I like to feel slightly important on other people's channels occasionally. Uh, I don't know. That's not right. It's nice to feel like I'm doing something. Or stories and sips. They're doing stuff. Tell them Kilko sent you. They'll have no idea who you're talking about. Uh, they go live every Friday as well, and I tend to overlap them, but that's kind of a different thing. Well, they, they do do they do singing occasionally. Who else? Oh, Eric Wade is what I was going to look up. Ah. You don't have to, Richie. Only if you want to. Only if you want to. Because it's been a fun night. We were talking about 350 subscribers. Amazing. Uh, Patreon. Tentative block. What do they call that? Soft launch? Something like that. I'm not promoting it quite yet. Soon. Soon I'll have to say it more at the end of the videos. I've only mentioned it casually so far for like two videos this week. Uh, oh. Eric Waits doing introduction to Sherry and Sherry Cask whiskeys because he does the wine and the whiskey. So lucky him. But yeah. So that's your options. You got uh, my brain. Trev going live. Eric Waits going live. If you go to either or both, Tell them Kilko sent you because reasons. Because I didn't send you, by the way. It's just nice to think I did. All I've done is mention their channels and their streams. Most of you know I'm technically the pregame of the, the Trev slash uh, ADHD Whiskey because he's doing something crazy tonight. As a few of you may know, a few, one or two. Yeah. Yeah, we're going for 400 now. We're on our way. I think I should do something special for 500 because that's halfway there. I shouldn't have said that. Whoa, you're halfway there. Wow, living on a prayer. Why does that happen? I'm not even sure what band that is. There it is. It's a radio song for me. I can switch that into crooner mode. Whoa, whoa, you're halfway there. Whoa, whoa, living on a prayer. Take my hand and a something I swear. Whoa, whoa, living on a prayer. There you go. That's a nice little twist of songs right there. It will. It will. If it ever happens. Uh, you have to remember I'm a bit of a negative Nelly in my head, so it might happen. might not. I'd like to think it will, because this is progressively happening more and more, but actually getting people to subscribe is the hardest part, and my channel is not exactly demanding people to subscribe. I just want them to if they want them to. Soon, we're, we're closer to, well, we're still closer to 350 than 400, but we'll get there. Eventually. Thank you. Have a good week, and I'll see people. I'll see some of you on Sunday again. Live stream then. Bon Jovi. Yeah, that would, that's one of my radio songs, basically in my head when I used to listen to the radio because that used to be a thing. And here we have it coming up to the end of the, the stream, but we have the 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 mix, the blend of those four whiskeys. It's got a slightly weird smell there. I don't know what that is. A chow. I thought it smelled just like four roses for a second. It's not bad. So if you have all four of those whiskeys, go ahead and mix them together. Yeah, we're getting there. It's a slow process, but that's fine. As, as, as I've said before, I don't want my channel to explode. That would freak me out. But I do want to have progressively things happening. There you go. You got it. Thank you. 30 seconds left. Oh, God. I hope to see some of you Sunday. Thank you for being here. Thank you for celebrating with me for end of week, end of month, 350 subs, and start a Patreon. Woo! I don't know why I'm wooing, but that's the closest I can think. As always... Live long and prosper. Black, I do that. Don't forget to be awesome. And I gotta wait a couple seconds. Uh, slideshow.